In this tutorial, we're going to set up a website with HTTPS. We're going to roll out an SSL certificate and uh, we're going to sort of incorporate it so that it's trusted by computers around the world through the um, public key infrastructure PKI. So number one is let's create a, uh, an Ubuntu machine. Um, I went with 1804. Get it running. Uh, once it's up and running, let's make this our first move. Um, we're going to go to a website called, uh, it is freedns.afraid.org. And it's going to prompt you for a username and a password. I wouldn't give this site a password that you use anywhere else. I think it's legit. It seems to be pretty well rated in terms of uh, what I've seen online. But I've given this sort of a burner password that I know I'm not using anywhere else just because I don't like the design. It looks a little sparse, but it's free DNS and it works. So, all right, so I'm going to click on subdomains here. And you can see that I've already created one. I'm going to delete the one that I created. And uh, once you've signed in, you should get to the point where it says add a subdomain. I'm going to pause the video, let you get there. Okay, so I'm going to add uh, a subdomain, and I'm just going to give it my last name, like Beck. And from the drop-down, you can see we have all of these different subdomains that we can kind of choose from here. And I'll choose moo.com, M-O-O-O.com. This is important that we know the domain name. And it gives us this crazy captcha cap here, N-E-Q, it looks like W-M. And the destination has to be the IP address of our Amazon server. So I'm going to take a look at where mine is here. It's the one on the top, I believe. There it is. So I'm going to highlight. I'm going to use Control-C to copy. Hopefully I caught it. We'll find out. Did not work. Let's try it one more time. And there's the IP address of my Amazon AWS server. And we're now going to be able to access that at beck.moo.com. It takes a couple of minutes for the DNS system. Oh, beck.moo.com is already taken. Somebody, I may have been here before. I'll call it um, newbeck.moo.com. How's that? There we go. And so now I've got newbeck.moo.com available at that IP address. So inside of Putty, I'm going to go ahead and connect to that. Um, again, I've got my authorization key with AWS set up. Instead of using the IP address now, I'm going to try newbeck.moo.com. But I'll tell you what, that may not work right away. So let's actually go set up our security group real quick. So here it is. And I'm going to click on my security group. And we're going to allow for inbound rules. We're going to add a rule. And let's make it down here, HTTPS. And make sure we've got a CIDR block of all zeros. And so we'll only be allowing HTTPS and SSH in on this machine right now. All right, let me see if that works. And it did. It's letting me in on my domain name. So it's been registered and everything picks up. That's nice. And we'll make two standard moves before we move into the next video. Again, this is just setup, um, sudo su, and let's go ahead and run that app to update. And once we are logged in, we've got our app to update, and we've set up our DNS resolution, it's uh, time to move on to the next video.